How's it going guys? We are back another video here. I know this is a very late video, but I want to give some market advice right now. Uh, and, and it's going to be some good advice, you know, it's really going to be some good advice. So I'm going to give you guys the advice that you need to know to, you know, make coins and really just simply become a hot millionaire pretty much. So, I mean, I've made a video on how to become a millionaire in NHL, but you know what? Today, I'm going to give you the best ones that you need to know. All right. So I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you do leave a like subscribe if you have not already but let's hop into it right now okay so here is what we need to discuss okay what do we need to discuss uh so you go to the auction house right and there's a lot of things you need to know okay before we go any further it's really not that hard to make coins okay on the market it really isn't like it's actually very simple so some things to really know when people are opening packs that is when cards are going to be spewed on the auction house spewed so like pack day, like Wednesday, Thursday, especially even Friday when it was like a new event, people are going to be spending copious amounts of money and opening, opening copious amounts of packs to try and get better cards, right? Another important thing to know is the fact that people will be selling their other cards for cheaper to try to get the newer end cards, right? So for example, basement day was a good example. All right. So Base McDavid is a very good example of this, okay? So, uh, looking at Base McDavid right now, today is Tuesday, right? So, today is Tuesday. Sorry, Monday. Well, it's going to be Tuesday almost by the time this video goes out. But uh, today is Monday, and we have Connor McDavid's base card, all right? So, 87 overall, Connor McDavid, right? So, McDavid's going for around 108K right now is the lower end uh, of him. McDavid, you could probably get him for about 100K. Uh, 100K, I would say... I would say 100k probably like tomorrow, honestly, like after five uh, o'clock or, or on on Thursday after five, because people will be pulling me David, people will be ripping ripping packs, uh, and that'll be giving McDavid less value because more cards will be getting pulled of McDavid. Supply and demand, obviously. The more McDavid's that are out there, the less he's gonna go for, right? Because people are gonna be like, oh, there's a billion. Hey. Oh, they can get undercut. So, like, for example, McDavid, you have you see him up for 108K. Well, if I'm opening packs, more people opening packs, McDavid's going to get pulled. And then, boom, a new McDavid gets listed for 105. Oh, there's another one. Oh, 103. Oh, 101. 99. That's the time. That's the time to buy cards, all right? Buy them cheap, but then resell them higher later on in the week, okay? I would say the best time to sell your cards, I always say this, to me, is Sunday. Sunday... Because everyone's done with their hot champs games, uh, I, I would say that's m Sunday into Monday. Those those are the days. Monday, Tuesday, those are prime days. Because Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, that's a huge time to sell cards. Because the real issue is that there's not many packs being opened, right? Like who's really opening packs on a Sunday and a Monday to Tuesday, right? So there's less McDavid's being pulled, right? Like just generally, there's less McDavid's being pulled because who's opening packs on those days, right? So for example, uh, McDavid, you know. There's not that many on the market right now, 16, but there'll be more. Uh, there'll be more uh, tomorrow, and there'll be there'll be more. Sorry, on Wednesday, there'll be more on on Thursday, right? So that'll be a huge thing uh, as well when people open their packs. But going really back to another important thing is is event cards as well, especially MSPs. All right, so let's see if I can look at the MSPs here. So so you have a few here. So you have the Phil Castle. You know he's he's an interesting uh, one right there. But then you have. For example, you have the Hillary Knight, right? And I'm not sure there's a Benajad on the market. Yes, there is. So he's going for around 300k right now, right? So Benajad's going for 300k. I, I've definitely seen him for under that. I would say that these MSPs right now, this is probably the best time to buy them, especially tomorrow. So I keep saying tomorrow. I don't know why I keep assuming tomorrow's Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday, because while these cards are in packs, that's when they're really not going to sell for uh, as much. But once they're out of packs, that's when they're going to start going up in price because they're just not going to be pullable, right? Like, you can never pull an 89 Zabinijad ever again. So those cards will become more rare. And again, supply and demand. There'll be less cards in the auction house. That's a huge thing to keep in mind as well uh, when it comes to MSP items, right? MSP items, they can vary, like, very, very much so. Because, I mean, if there's, like, a very rare MSP, like, again, Zabinijad can become very rare quickly. And, you know, Zabinijad won't be getting an 89 probably for a while now. So... Something to keep in mind. Uh, that Kessel is, is really going to be expensive. He's really going to be expensive because once he goes out of packs, I mean, really good luck finding that card. And, and if you do, he'll be going for a crazy amount. So that's uh, one thing to keep in mind with the MSPs, all right? Uh, another thing uh, is some of the Evos. Actually, some of the Evos are actually kind of coming down to being a little bit 
of a normal price. Uh, Severson I saw earlier go for two two twenty five, which is actually pretty insane. I mean, I know he's not uh, you know a huge huge like I guess highly touted one, but uh, that's pretty wild for an Evo MSP to go for two twenty in my eyes at least. Dobson we all know he's going for a crazy amount now. The, the, the pretty much the boat is uh, pass on that one, right? The ship is sailed, I should say, because really. Dobson's going for 1.1. You're not going to go for really much more than that. He's going to probably be one of the first 99s in the whole game. Let's be real. So, yeah, that Dobson's card is going to be actually cracked. Um, I would say take a flyer maybe on Jones. Only reason I say take a flyer on Jones potentially is the fact that Jones could definitely maybe heat up when he comes back. Uh, Pavelski, we all knew, was going to be a 99 probably. Um, the other ones here, I mean, no one really seems to be that intriguing, honestly, of the Evo guys. Petrangelo did just score recently, but he's still got a long way to go before he gets up to a high overall, right? So uh, that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, we all know Dalene's going for a crazy amount. Uh, no one else really going for like a reasonable amount. Everyone's kind of going for a uh, crazy amount of the Evo cards. I'd really avoid Evo cards for now because now they're out of packs. So now they're even at their highest. I would I would really not, not look to buy them. But all right, another huge thing when it comes to the auction houses do this. Okay, so... For example, if you have 500k, right? I mean, I have 964, so I'm not gonna put. Well, I, I'll put 250k, for example, okay? Because I don't wanna, I don't wanna just put all my coins. That's gonna be a huge thing to look at and, and serve through the whole time. Uh, and I'll put. Uh, well, no, I'll leave it like that because you know you never know. So basically, what you wanna do, guys, you wanna go to the 59th minute, all right? 59th minute, put the overall rating up as well. Put it to, I guess, 83 or higher, right, as well. So you don't have to sort through a million cards to get to the 59th minute. Get to the 59th minute, right? And this is really how a lot of people make their coins. I follow some guy on Twitter. His name's Ati. He has 14 mil <laughs> of, of coins in cards just from literally buying cards for steals. I mean, it takes a lot of time and patience, but, like, you can find some absolutely stunning, stunning deals, right? So, for example, I'm at the 59th minute now, right? So... Right now, we got Pasternak, right? 86 overall Pasternak. There's times where he sees Pasternak go for like 40k. And, and then, you know, and then he just buys them and he's able to resell them, right? Crosby 30k, Hemman 39k. And, and you just see these cards go up for a very cheap amount and he's able to just buy these cards and just simply flip them for higher. And that's how you make so many coins in this game. It's just, and it can add up so quickly. That's the thing about it. It's just such a quick add up. And, and then really, people don't realize that they don't. They really, really don't. Uh, Yosey 42k price, Marner 17k, this is all reasonable uh, right now, but you know, if you're just on the markets constantly refreshing police bid, you're gonna find some stunners, you really are. It's gonna take some dedication to actually get a steal, but you'll get one, you really will. I know it's, it's it might be crazy to hear, but it's gonna happen and, and they're out there, the, the steals, so... Really, guys, I would just de definitely do the 59th minute method. I, it's really paid off before for me in the past. I don't really have the time to do that anymore, it's just... Again, tedious. Like Leon, 25k. That's not that's not that bad, I feel like. Eh, that's 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 kind of what he's going for, to be fair. Okay. I think I think it back. But that's the thing, the other other thing. You guys have to learn the uh, the value of these cards, right? Because like I didn't know Leon was going for 25k. Just don't assume because it looks good that it actually is a steal, right? You gotta actually kind of study the higher end guys, what they're going for, right? Like if you see if you see an 87 overall, McDavid, like 85k blah, blah, bang, it's a steal. Easily. You're making at least 20, 25k on that, right? Which you could easily do. Like, you'll, you'll get that. Like, you'll get a steal of a McDavid. Especially, especially, especially uh, when, when like, again, a new event comes out. People are trying to sell their items. Like, that Zegers, 170. That's not that crazy, right? Like, that's 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 a pretty reasonable offer. Reasonable deal for Zegers. So, they're going to just, they're going to be very all over the place at times, prices. So, you really got to kind of study them and keep track of the higher end guys. So, you know when, when one pops up as a steal... That you actually can get that steal and actually properly relist it for the amount that it should be going for. That's the big, the biggest thing when it comes to the auction house. All right. Uh, then we have. Let me see. If there's any, I want to see if there's any like steals that can pop up. That'd be pretty insane. And we get one live. But again, that's that's kind of hoping for the best here. I, it's probably not going to happen, but you never know. Maybe we'll get very lucky here. I don't think we're going to get very lucky though. Larkin. No, that's, that's kind of that's been up already. So, um, yeah. I mean, that's probably it though, guys. For this video, my. My market tips, I mean, I, I would say, you know, I'm going to have some more videos like this in the future. If you guys are down, that is, uh, let me know. I mean, I'm, I'm certainly down. I mean, I think it's fun. Uh, I, I think it's important to try to learn the auction house. I really do believe that. Uh, Joan Neuendijk, that's kind of a reasonable amount, 213 for him. Um, uh, Zegris, Nurse, this is all kind of reasonable uh, prices, I would say, for these players right here. Heaven for 31K. I mean, I feel like that's, that's not 
bad. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Like, even that, like, that's a pretty nice, like, deal for Hedman, though. 31k. Like, that's the cheapest on the market by about 4 or 5k. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, you can make you can make profit on, 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 these, on these cards little by little, you know? So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully, it helped some of you out. Uh, if you have any other questions about the market, I can definitely help you out. And I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik3Es. Enjoy Discord, talk to me. Follow subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.